Monday, everybody. It's 12 minutes after noon. Great to have your company this Monday afternoon. I'm Scott Steele in the Weather Center. Hope you had a terrific weekend. What an interesting couple of days it was, though. A Saturday up to the middle 80s across southeastern Wisconsin. Sunday, only 67 degrees officially at Milwaukee's Mitchell International. So a tale of two seasons. A little taste of autumn yesterday. We'll return to more seasonal averages today. In fact, we're already cracking the 70 degree mark across the area. Show you the temperatures in just a moment. But first, to look out our weather window from atop Discovery World Museum, looking to the north northwest. Cut of hay towers there in the lower right part of your screen. The Calatrava Beautiful Art Museum, and you can see the clouds are starting to thin out in some parts of southeastern Wisconsin. What we call mixing out as uh, the low level moisture is kind of getting out of the way. We had some dense fog and dense fog advisories earlier this morning. Certainly that's not a concern right now. And as we go through the rest of the afternoon, well, in your weather headlines, our readings are going to rise quite nicely. We will see some storms soon. As soon as late this afternoon into the evening hours, we could pop a few. I think they'll become far more widespread overnight tonight, and we'll get more muggy as we go through the rest of this work week. Now outside across southeastern Wisconsin right now, temperatures generally in the low to mid 70s already. Waukesha, where you're dealing with a little more cloudiness uh, that you've hung on to a little longer than the rest of us. You're at 70 degrees, 74 for you fine folks joining us in Watertown, 75 a degree better in Fondy and along the lake in Sheboygan, 70 degrees right there, 72 down the lake in Kenosha. Just off to the west, even slightly warmer readings, but this leading edge of warmer air is really what's helping to trigger some of these showers and storms that have already fired up just up to the north, running into temperatures in the 50s. So there's already been a band of shower and thunderstorm activity pushing from northwestern into northeastern Wisconsin this morning. There's more where that came from. Not terribly organized yet, but future forecasts our computer model shows this low pressure tracking right overhead and as it does we'll start to blossom more of these showers and thunderstorms as we go through the nighttime hours tonight with potentially some pretty significant downpours if one you know gets right over your house you're going to see some pretty good uh, rainfall amounts because these will remain rather stagnant and not move through very quickly so your storm team forecast for the rest of the afternoon partly to mostly cloudy warmer up to the middle and upper 70s with again a risk of storms late then for tonight the showers and storms become more prevalent across the area heavy downpours a possibility with lows down to 63 we'll see that wet weather continue especially in tomorrow morning Highs tomorrow warmer again up to near 80 degrees and tomorrow night. Showers diminishing, otherwise mostly cloudy and mild, down to near 64. Here comes your storm team 10 day outlook. We get a nice break in the action on Wednesday with temperatures near 78 degrees. Then Thursday and Friday look for a return to more unsettled weather. It's going to really start to feel summery again as temperatures across the area perhaps top 80 degrees Friday into Saturday. Now these won't be all day range Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but you certainly will want to be prepared with the rain gear. Well, that's your weather. We've got much more ahead on Live at Noon this Monday. Stick with us right here on today's TMJ4. The light